right, all right. Shalom, shalom. 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 First and foremost, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to Allah Akim, or that is doing the work with sincerity and charity, with humiliation all across the four winds. To you, I salute. All right. So today we got a lesson line up. Um, the brother got an article, you know, um, he want to share. So Lord willing to be edifying and it serve its purpose. You got it, brother. God, you know, uh, a lesson with the Lord put in my spirit, you know, it's titled, you know, when shit hits the fan, what will you do? Okay, because these people out here just living a carefree life, being comfortable and complacent, addicted to the pleasures of this world, not knowing the times ahead. All right, and that's why when the time of trouble comes, it's gonna come as a snare on these people. They don't want this world, like I always say, to end. And also, a lot of them convinced and deceived, deceived by their vain thoughts that the Lord is truly dealing with them. You know, okay. they think the Lord dealing with them. All right. But nevertheless, all right, what will be your economic plan when the system collapse or when the is internet goes out, you know, due to these cyber attacks or no food available or various other hellish conditions? All right. But, you know, let's get, you know, a quick article, you know, I... You know, I wanna, I wanna uh, go into, you know, giving an illustration based on we, the movie, uh, the the what it goes now, the world left behind or something like that. Yeah. Leave the world behind. Leave, Leave the, the world, world behind, behind. Salaki, right? You know, and <coughs> and what they saying, you know, in this article, it's it's fictional. What we know, you know, through the scriptures, it's prophecy. We can relate it to prophecy. All right, it's documented in the Bible. All right, and we could get some precepts, Lord willing to to show you, Lord willing to be at a fine. But let me get this article. It says, "How will you survive the day an enemy state switches off the internet?" Okay, it reads, "All right, an oil tanker plows into a tourist beach, planes fall from the sky, Dri driver driverless cars run amok, the internet fails." And a mobile network network dies. Feral instincts take over as people fight for food, water, and medicine amid the runs of civilization. Runs of civilization. That is a nightmare vision depicted in the world that the leave the world behind. Netflix recent hit. hit Film star Julia Roberts and Ethan Hawke as a couple battles societal breakdown when the technology that underpins civilization collapses. It says, this is the part, it says, it's fictional, but it touches on deep seated real life fears. All right, because it's a nightmare vision, but ultimately it's going to happen. It is going to happen. All right. For those, all right, who didn't watch this movie, I suggest you do. It had various subliminal messages and also you could link it to prophecy if you watch that movie all right see for us we watch movies with a spiritual eyes i suppose these people they watch it for entertainment yeah. mm -hmm. you know they watch these movies for entertainment but nevertheless what would you do what would what will you do when ain't no internet or how will you survive when you know when the food is ration what will you do all right, how will you, woman, with proud and dependent, defend yourselves in that day? Independent woman. Hmm. What? what would you do in that day? All right, and also, when y'all can't find no feminine products, what will you do in that day? Yeah. All right, because guess what? You know, it can be crazy out here soon, you know what I mean, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a moment, because... The apostle coined this year the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And like I can tell you one thing, and in Jacob's trouble, what this article gonna what this article explain, you know, based on the movie, the horrific events, what you see in this movie is inevitable. Okay, it's gonna happen. Alright, so 
you know, let's get the scripture quick, right? Get uh, Jeremiah the 30th chapter, brother. All right, because people is watching these movies just for, you know, just for entertainment. But that right, that movie right there was a small glimpse of what is this, what, what is what is about to happen in time to come. Read uh, uh, ah, no, jump the voice, jump the voice four first. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah chapter thirty, verse four. Four to seven. And these are the words that the, that Yahweh speak concerning Israel and concerning Judah. To those of Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans. All right, you know we over here on this side of the world. So predominantly over here is you know uh, Benjamites and Haitians. You know, okay. this can affect us, right? Right. It says, "For thus said Yahweh." We have heard the voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now, and see whether a man do travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all, all faces are turned into paleness. Verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so none is like, like, none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. Can't. So guess what? In that day, niggas will be bitching. All right, because they wouldn't know what to do. These women out here, in that day. All right, these women out here also in that time. All right. Okay. That that'll be a time of straight violence, chaos, those bird pains. All right. Savages will be out here. Fucking demons. God. All right, these young two dirt niggas. All right, they pure our demons. God. All right, see the generation we raising our demons. All right, all right. The police won't be able to save you because if the internet shuts down, how will be how will you be able to reach them? No communication, no help. So guess what? If the Lord ain't on your side, you frig. God. God. All right. So when the o internet when the internet goes off, guess what? We can be okay, you know. We can be okay because guess what? Our minds won't be rattled like these people. All right? Our minds won't be rattled like these people. All right? We, we, the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, preparing, preparing us for these times to come. All right? And guess what? The only ones who will, be, will escape these times is the hopeful elect. The scriptures say, He, right? He shall be saved out of it. That's speaking about the hopeful elect. Okay. All right. So guess what? Your martial arts training can't save you. Don't care how much assets you have can't save you. All right. Your guns can't save you. That's it. Mm. All right. So let's see. Let's see what what's what's gonna keep us in that day, in those chaotic times, brother. You know the scripture I want to say thirty three and six. Let's see what's gonna keep our minds together yeah. when the society collapses. When you people see all kind of dead bodies like. During the time of autumn when the leaf fall off the fucking tree, you know, that's gonna be that's how the leaf fall of the tree. You know, you walk over those leaves, you see those leaves? That's that's how much dead bodies can be out here in these streets. You gotta get be the sense we gonna be the sensitized to these shit. That's gonna be that's gonna be normal, man. That's what I said. Go ahead, brother. God. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. It says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation for the fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Right. This wisdom and knowledge of what? The Bible. All right. These words, what are faithful and true, that are going to keep us in this time. All right. Keep us firm. All right. Firmness, because that's one of the words when you look up stable. Yeah. All right. We're not going to be buggled like these people. You know what I mean? When they see these strange events, what they never saw, what they, what they only see in the movies and shit. When we encounter the, these times, we're gonna be numb to see how many fucking deaths out here. Okay. All right, from these people, including family members. Okay. Okay. All right, we what we love to do have a pilgrim mindset. Just continue moving. All right, I brought up the analogy with the autumn on the trees. So we can see people dying and it'd be so much. We just gotta continue going. All right, you imagine you just be walking over dead bodies in that day. All right, look at that movie. Uh, uh leave the world behind, nigga. Ne Nigga going on the beach, all he sees is fucking bodies. Yeah, what do you have to do? So, uh, have a feral instinct, just keep on going. He, he yeah. can't look at those damn dead bodies. You got to keep on going. All right, just keep on going. So, so at the end of the day, hey, 
the only thing was gonna keep you is your how about shame your outsiders wisdom knowledge and understanding you know what i mean so guess what your money your money like i say won't save you in that day all right because let's see what will be valued huh uh brother you could get uh ecclesiastes 7 and 12. Yeah, this is the book of ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 12. for wisdom is a defense and money is a defense but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom give it life to them that have it you see that so you see that both is defense right the scriptures say money answered all things we need money to live and survive or whatever else to do pay our bills and shit but guess what yeah. it don't mean a shit in that day no nope. <laughs> all right because everything will be mostly digital and that day everything will be <laughs> connected it. to the dam everything will be online all right then so far <laughs> so it. what other choice do you have you know i i, I uh, watch a movie named uh, moon moon landing okay and and they thought the, the, the end of the world was coming and this guy man he had a whole bag of money you know and him and the other guys together and they, they was they was uh basically crashing different places and the guy he, he saw this, this bank man he had no money and he, he ran out with it saying he can and so the other guy asked him man what he can do with that so we have no use for that that's it you know <laughs> so man the only thing that's good for is to keep them warm in the night <laughs> meaning he, they can burn it <laughs> right <Yeah. laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna have no value. You know the scriptures speak about that. Right, uh, brother, you you got you got uh, you got read it again. All right, Ecclesiastes seven and twelve. For wisdom is a defense, money is a defense, but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom give it life to them that have it. Right, the excellency of knowledge is is that wisdom will guide you in those perilous times. All right, wisdom. All yeah. right okay when um uh, you know the 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 it, i think it's in the book of maccabees which speaks about when the brothers write the letter to the 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 spartans the the last of the Monians, right i think it was jonathan he write to his, his brothers he said man we have the briefly power of reason he said we have the the the, the spirit the, the comfort book, of the, the holy spirit we have the, the book of the holy, holy spirit that comfort us right right so you know they was faced with adversity you know what i mean so the same way in this time when shit hit the fan okay we won't be buggled like these people okay. all right we ain't gonna be buggled like these people you'll be in situations where the lord makes it possible for you and your family to get food all right he will find a way for you or to no way because the scriptures say a servant shall eat all right and this wisdom so bad all right whereby you might be somewhere in the forest and you know that wisdom what y'all but she said that's putting you my able just to go make up a dam something way able to a uh, weapon to catch fish or whatever you know what i mean this wisdom and knowledge is going to keep us in that time all right it's going to keep us in that day in this time yeah. well i could say this too wisdom means something you have on you wisdom is something you have in you that's it that's it right so because yeah. if you find yourself in a situation gotta go in the in the in the pine yard whatever how you can get fire that's it can how you can get food can zero is it can that's just a little small example on a low scale that's, that's it. it all right because you'll have that wisdom you know to yeah. provide for right. uh, these things right <laughs> you see right so your preparing skill your your prep your, your preparing skills won't won't be won't be done enough to save you the wisdom of the scriptures and lord willing this be the this we, this this be the year we see the end of this place all right and let me say this you know the only way out for salvation is blood sweat and tears and all of faith Damn. okay all right first and foremost all of faith all right in a way around this devil and this beast system you know wait all right you must come through that door and that door is yahweh shy the straight gate all right all right because that's what it is so let me just read a little bit more on this article of things what you uh we should look for in that time to come because these people ain't looking for these times all right yeah. 